Warning! The following audio may contain coarse language and other material that may not be suitable for a younger audience. Listener discretion is advised. Also, we may spoil everything and anything, so you have been warned. Actually, shit, I forget. I forgot. This is being recorded, so <laughs> no, it's fine. No, this this is our secret plan. This is our planning, guys. This is our planning to control our fan base, so they never oh, know mm-hmm. what's coming. It's like brainwashing. Or what we could do is I could just take it and like bleep out half of it, and then someone hears you say, "This is us controlling our fan base," and then we just like freak everybody out. Everyone do Whenever... an evil laugh now. <laughs> 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 What kind of evil laugh is that? It was my fucking evil laugh, Gene. No, it's <laughs> an evil laugh. You can do better than that. Ah <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't do that. I could probably sound like Holden if I tried. I'm recording, by the way. Everybody is. You sound like a dying duck. Okay. Are we all ready, oh, guys? Too. Are we all ready? Because we've been recording. No, I've been recording. We're for gonna do it anyway. Wait, minutes. there's a cool umbrella on eBay. One second. <laughs> Is it tie dye? <laughs> no, it's like a sword, but it's not. Okay, guys, guys, let's let's let's, let's just start because we've been recording yeah. for twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay, we've been recording twenty minutes, and we're gonna start. So, ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome to Potoku episode whatever the hell we're, number we're on because we always air these things out of order. My name is Arcada, and with me today is Gigak from the Anime Zone. Why, hello there, Tristan. It's nice Hol- to be here. It's nice to be here, indeed. Holden from Holden Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed the lawnmowers singing songs of freedom on the 4th of July. If not, you're probably a foreigner. Good thing we're not talking <laughs> to- Oh. <laughs> to <laughs> hundreds of people. Fuck the British! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mari just won Wimbledon! You, oh, I'm sorry, is this an anime podcast? Yeah. Sorry, I just, I just had to say that since uh, this is- um, this is a few hours after Mari just won Wimbledon, but um, yes, continue. Anime, yes. Yes, and Jean from X Disturbed, Jean's anime review- oh wait, no, nope, shit. you fucked up, asshole. Oh my god! <laughs> anime anime appraisal! <laughs> okay, w- when you actually start releasing a lot of videos with anime appraisal, I'll get used to it. <laughs> when any one of us start releasing a lot of videos uh. except for Tristan. Except Which for we'll me. never do besides Whoa. Tristan. Videos? What's that? Because I think Holden Reviews just set a new record for Pontaku with eight <laughs> months and no <laughs> review. Eight I, I think you're. I, I think you actually meant not Holden Reviews, but Holden Hiatus. Holden Hiatus. Yes, that yes. is a, that is your official turn. That is your official channel name. Until you release you a new review, we are going to call you Holden, Holden Hiatus. Hiatus. I can deal yeah. with that. This sounds good. I have to. It's official now. So everybody remember that. When we do the outro, whenever we finish that, we have to refer to him as Holden Hiatus. So. Got it. Talking about hiatus and (coughs) what have you been guys, what have been you guys watching? What have you guys been watching? Why is everybody all tongue tied? I'm going last because mine is going to lead to a big discussion. We know it is. Okay. Well, um, uh, actually, I I know. Uh, How about we start with Gene and (laughs) what you have been watching or, you know, enjoying. Really okay. enjoying. <laughs> oh! Ooh. We're talking about that thing, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are, Holden. We Wait, are. we're, t- we're so, talking about free? So, so Maybe. G- oh, don't- oh. Well, first, I finished watching Akunohana last night. Nobody cares, we already talked about that. That other Fine. thing you've Your been feels. watching. Fine, I started free. Oh, oh, my, oh my god! And I have to say- that I feel like such a hypocrite for oh? complaining about anime series with fan service, and I'm watching free. Yeah, and I'm but, like, but, but, what, what did you? What did so you? So much man service. It is so cute, and like, and like, <laughs> oh, he's so cute. And, and the so water is like electric. Like the water looks so beautiful. 
And uh, I, I, I have bubbly. to admit, like Kyoto Animation makes water look, look really refreshing. Yeah. It's just like water. Makes- I see their shit. I get thirsty. It's like it's, water porn. It's like have, have you seen? You know, you know the ending of Free. Yes. Where they're just like in the middle of a the desert. Ending theme. I know. Oh my god. And, and it's just like it's got nothing to do with swimming. Uh, uh, I, I would like to point <laughs> but then, out because there's the mirage. They're in a desert and they're playing in water, and yes. the water has never looked so sexy. So good. Oh my ever. god. Listen, like that whole episode. Talk about getting wet and bothered, Jesus. That whole episode had me out of it, but then the ending, where like they were in the club and they were doing like their little dance, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Holy fan <fangirl> growing over. <laughs> like they're just in the club and then like they're like walking camels. <laughs> I don't know, but that was just so. I loved it so much. And then, like, I I just sat here after a minute. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Why do I feel this way? How 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 did your vagina feel? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking about water, I didn't feel it down there. I'm not that perverted. <laughs> yeah, speaking about wet stuff, <laughs> I had my hand in my face. Face. <laughs> 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 <That's so bad. laughs> that was so bad. But I'm definitely looking forward to that. I don't know how it's gonna go, but. It's like, know. It's okay, so like, how would you compare this to Basque. watching, like, something like Kuroko's Basket? Because yeah. that's, like, uh, like a trailer for the second season of Kuroko's Basket came out. Um, oh, I haven't seen that. And um, it was just, it was just it's this rip off Nika Nika, I think. And in the background, you can hear just fangirls squealing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And, yeah, oh, I, I think... I'm not surprised. Yeah, I, I and, feel like it's it's going to be a lot like her no, ba- no Basket because they have... Haru, who's, like, the blue guy, and then they have Rin, who's, like, the red guy. Like, they all have their own colors, like they yeah. do in Kurokono You heard it here but... first. People are now color-coordinated <laughs> yeah. in Jin's mind. They are. No, have you in, never watched in... Sentai and Power Rangers? Like, jeez. Color coordination is everything. You are yeah. only ever allowed to wear colors of your color. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, that's you? true. Yeah, that's true. Here it's a little, I don't know, but they're definitely more sculpted. <laughs> And they don't have the weird chin shade, which I like. Well, <laughs> they also don't have any nipples, if you have noticed. Oh, I didn't notice that. I was looking at everything else Is except it, that. Dude, she <laughs> don't have no nipple. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't like the original idea and trailer thingy that they made a while back supposed to be a joke? It was a tech demo to show off, hey, look, we can animate water. Yeah, yeah. This. and then it just got so popular. They were like, and then hey. I, 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 assu- I assume that that they they saw that waterfall of like what what happened when the, all the fan girls saw it, and they were just like, we we can make some money out of this. I'm pretty, I'm pretty yeah. fucking sure. But the thing I would say about it is that it has some really good fucking animation. Like it really does. Really, it's Kyoto Annie. They, I know it's I Kyoto yet- Annie, but like I haven't seen anything bad by them. Speaking of water, that shit is so fluid. It's not even funny. It's so good looking. <laughs> Yeah, it is ridiculously good looking. Didn't we already say that? But we just wanted what? to reiterate how good it is. Yeah, he was doing a play on word there. We we are trying to make as many water puns as we can. I yeah, think. I know. It, we're walking a pretty slippery I slope. I am immune. I am immune to puns right now because I have been rewatching Pokemon and the puns, man. You don't catch it when you're a kid, but there's like two oh, or three very bad that, puns. Man, I see what you did there. <laughs> what? Uh, you said you don't catch it when you're a kid. Oh! On, did you not even think about it? Oh my god! The Pokemon jokes! Woo! Jesus. Oh my god, oh guard. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa, that was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was. A... You trap him. Well it. done. Well done. But yeah, uh, continue what you were saying because I probably just. <laughs> yeah. Your okay, well, you don't notice it when you're a kid but there was like there's usually like three or four really bad puns in any given pokemon episode just to fill up lip flap i'm looking at that and i'm literally like, wow they must have had yeah but that's real because fun time pokemon was it. dubbed by four kids and anything dubbed by four kids is yeah. full of bad puns i mean fucking the one piece dub was full of bad puns in the four kids one but yeah. you know why well, because one piece isn't well it is a children's show but it isn't that childish yeah so but yeah, let's not pops. let's not get into four kids dubs because yeah, that's... please we'll be here all day. <laughs> we'll let's, we'll be here all day. Let's go with uh, Gart. What you've been watching? So I've just finished Gargantia. 
Oh, um, I was watching that before we started this podcast. So how oh, good oh, is it? I, I haven't even started it yet. Oh. Okay, well, it's new. Uh, I, I'm sure you guys know it's the newest one written by Gino Rubucci. And it ended pretty fucking good. Uh, yeah. I was surprised. They, like, um, the the whole the series as a whole, it was always good, but it was, it was never like, oh my god, this, this is great. So I, I always expected just... For it to just be at this like one level, if do you know what I mean when I say I that? Yeah, like it yeah. doesn't go above and beyond. Like, yeah, it just always stays at like a threshold of being Average. just really good. Yeah, yeah. To good. and the way they set up the way he set up the world was that, but because um by the before the last two episodes, I was like, there's no way they can end this and like resolve everything in a in a decent way if i if you get me yeah because yeah. the actual the actual world is that they set up is pretty fucking vast and it's set in a very small segment of that world let's say so mm-hmm. i was just like oh is, is 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 am i gonna be satisfied with this ending and the ending was really satisfying like they they made it really they made a really good climax they <clears throat> sorted out mm-hmm. everything they needed to while leaving bait for sequel if they want to like it, it there's like if there was a sequel i wouldn't i would be happy and if there wasn't i would still be satisfied that's the best kind of ending for me i love those endings where it's just like they could go on but you don't feel they need to if they do awesome you'll be pumped and you'll be like oh my god they're making more but if they don't they'll be like yeah yeah that's so uh, what what do you think what do you think about it gene what what episode are you well i'm um i stopped halfway through episode 12 because we did this but I'm kind of like, I know, I really hate stopping that's, halfway through. That's pretty that's crazy, I'm not going to lie. But the thing is, it's like, Holden signed on Skype, and I was like, okay, gotta stop. Okay, like, gotta stop. Gotta stop. <laughs> Holden comes first. Thank you. Holden's in, he just like- Holden always <laughs> comes first. Barges into the room wearing sunglasses, and Ray's just coming from behind him. He's just like, yeah. the Casanova <laughs> is here. Stop whatever you're doing. Hey man, where's the party? Let's see what we got. Stop everything that you're doing, and come talk to me. I just stopped <laughs> I make you You made it sound a lot worse, Gene, than it really Gene, was. Gene, you, you need to stop pausing at the worst possible word. <laughs> he, he made me come over to meet him. <laughs> it's, it's like he st- he made me stop everything and come to meet over him. to meet him. No, I said it cuz he says come talk to me. Whatever. I'm just, whatever. Just whatever. I'm just not going to try anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you been trying? <laughs> no. I no, actually, sometimes. I haven't. No, that's true. Oh my but, god, um, do a trap! I'm time. really looking forward to finishing Gargantia, and I'm probably gonna finish it as soon as I get time to because I've enjoyed this series a lot so far. It like, is. Yeah. Every really episode fun. has been. It's it's been Great. good. Like, Apart from yeah. that one beach episode that didn't Woo! have a beach. Yeah, beach even episode. That. Yeah, but like, it's you can just... forgive beach and hot spring episodes because those are going to happen no matter what you do. Yeah, but okay. The, here's one problem I had with it, and it's not an actual problem with the anime. Okay. Okay. But it's just a problem with my perception of the anime. Okay. Okay. So, like. It was written by Gena Rabucci, okay? Yes. Uh-huh. And he's on okay. fire right now. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 is. He, was on, he was on fire. But um like the thing the thing I this mindset I have going into a Gena Rabucci anime now is you're just waiting for that moment. moment. Yeah. yeah. That turning point. You know what I mean? You're waiting for the Shyamalan twist. Yeah. And yes, it was it was uh, evident in this anime as well and it was it's not as, it's just like not as shocking anymore and it doesn't have as big an impact because you're just like because you're yeah, expecting there it. it goes there it goes there's the moment and it, and it, it wasn't like when it, you were first watching like madoka magical or something where where jaw well, you had dropped. like you're like oh my god what just happened yeah and this... you're just like oh, oh my god yeah. and like in here i was just like okay it's like six episodes in the turn hasn't happened seven episodes in the turn hasn't happened Eight, oh there it, oh there it is there's the Gena Rubuchi turn, and I was just like, okay, so now what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess, like, the, I think you're it, just so used to him. Yeah, did it yeah. affect you as much, Ian? Because uh, you've watched most of his stuff as well. So. Um, no, it didn't. It it was very subtle, I think, but it's. I don't think it makes it any worse. No, no, than, exactly. It's, it's yeah. just it's just because Gena Rubuchi yeah. is just being Gena Rubuchi and we know that. Yeah. So it's just like I think we're yeah. just like immune to it now. Like he's he's keeping the style that he has and 
we were just used to it. Okay, the thing well, that we're... I'm worried about with Gen Urobuchi right now is because he's actually producing a lot. Like, he's not really producing, but he's <laughs> writing a lot. Like, Fate Zero wasn't very long ago by most stretches. He recently did Psycho Pass and now yep. this. And I'm just like, okay, he's a writer. He's going to burn out yeah. at this rate. Yeah. Okay. Tristan, Tristan you're, you're the last person to say that. Talking yeah, about burnout. That's true. Yeah, except <laughs> I, don't, I don't create works that are anywhere near his level. Okay, okay yeah. well, I create little funny little reviews from my little cave here in Canada, but he like he 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 like writes the Bible. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, comparison. well here's the question. Like, do you do you want to see like anything different from him? Like cuz do, do you know what I mean when I say that? Do you want to see- I don't want to see anything different, but I have a really good setting that I want him to do. And that is modern reality. I he's never done reality. I almost don't want him to do reality. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of afraid. That's why I want to see it. I want to see him in a very uncomfortable position as a writer to see how he will react. Yeah, cuz it seems like what he's doing is he's doing like not not the same story obviously, but no. he's just doing like a very the same kind of themes of a story in different worlds. settings, let's say, in different worlds. You know what I with mean? different, yeah, with different setups. Suisei no Gargantia has a really, really good yeah. setting, in my opinion. S- yeah, Suisei no Gargantia is by far his lightest anime so far. Yes, I think it's yeah, it's it's slice of life by comparison yeah. to his other work. I would say that too, yeah. actually. I mean, just look, just looking for the animation quality or, or the art style. I mean, the art style. It's so fucking bright. Yes, and the colors are so vivid. Amazing. Yeah, and it looks good. It um, doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> Like, if I didn't know this was written by Gennaro Reach, I probably wouldn't have watched this, if you know what I mean, because it just... Yeah, no, no. I wonder if the expectation would have been different if you had watched it and not known that he'd written it. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at. I probably would have actually enjoyed it more. Okay, that's what I thought, that's what I thought you were getting at. Yeah. Hmm. Because... I probably would have enjoyed it more. It's superficially so um, indistinguishable from the current, <clears throat> like, waves of anime. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't, the only thing that really causes it to stick out is his name being attached to it. Yeah, so, exactly. Because if you looked at it, you would say, this looks like a modern anime and nothing more. And what, actually, there's, what studio there's two did things it, that sticks out. That, that, uh, production IG. I, 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 I was about to get this. The animation is actually really fucking good. Especially, like, they pulled up all the stops in the last two episodes, as Gene is about to find out. Yeah. I think I, I think it's almost, almost not, like, totally safe to say, but I almost feel like it's safe to say that production IG has the keys to the metaphorical vault of money back right no, now. No, they don't have it yet. They don't have... They don't, they, this isn't, yeah. like, Git's status. Yeah, if, they well, have, no, like, but they, they also just put out gets which i've seen and it looks okay. fucking amazing arise looks really good especially the part where they have the tablet <laughs> no the, <laughs> the tablet actually isn't there it isn't i was worried i actually heard someone say that they watched the episode and the tablet was actually everywhere and i was like if that's <laughs> the true i'm done. everywhere man no it isn't there are two sightings of the surface there's a half second thing on a billboard where it says surface and then there's like a, a a second or two segment where um the major's offloading information to one. I but fucking it's like just love sitting that there. trailer though, where they just fucking oh just put in a surface everywhere. And they're like, fucking, she's doing combat with this shit. She's passing. To be it. fair, look at it. It's a surface. She's fucking hacking and all this shit. Ninety percent of the stuff in that trailer hasn't been shown in Arise yet. So for all we know, I hope it's there still because they're doing karate with the surface. Yeah, because it, it, if that actually turned out to be the actual scene from the show i will be very pissed because the show's doing really good so far don't we love product placement with uh, anime oh anyone God. remember pizza hut and code Geass does Geass? anyone <laughs> remember tiger and bunny oh yes All yes the, an entire <laughs> show about product placement but, 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 well yeah, but no but, part, but with placement. tiger and bunny they at least like explain they had explanations yeah. for it it wasn't yeah, just like, there it, it would feel wrong if if like we saw like fucking Wook Donalds or something, Wook Donalds. Of, or... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm it, talking it would about, be right? Weird if there wasn't like a name brand thing on them, on like Barney yeah. and them. Yeah, it, it yeah. actually it would have been weird. It actually, it actually adds to the um authenticity of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, Tristan, you were talking about Ghost in the Shell Rise. I haven't actually seen the first episode or whatever of that yet. Mm-hmm. So, as fellow as a fellow gets sack fan, let's say, yes. Well, sack. Did... Yes, get sack. Get sack. How does it hold up? It holds up well. It's the kind of thing where it's just started. So, like, I can't say, oh, it's just as good. 
Um, it, it's currently on a path that will allow me to put it side by side with the rest of the Ghost in the Shell series and be happy with it. Um, the animation, the animation's really good, but there are like moments when I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I remember when I watched uh, Sack and thought this was brilliant because that was like from the early 2000s and it looks amazing for its time. And I feel like Arise in a lot of the ways looks exactly the same. Exactly so, the same. As yeah, so it's a like, decade later, there's been no improvements. A decade later, there's been no improvements. <laughs> I know. Well, it, it's like that until the fighting happens. The fight scenes are amazing, except for this one bit where the major has this like very like serious face on because she just got thrown into a wall and it looks like she's constipated. It's really bad, but <laughs> it's like a metaphor. It's like constipation makes you hit the wall. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, the biggest problem I had with it was the music because... Um, uh, yes, well, that's the one thing that I knew would never match up. I know, well, it's like the, the, the movie series had Kenji Kawai, and then Sack has Yoko, Yoko Kano, Kano, and it's yeah. like, you can't, you can't touch that. And then for Arise, they bring in this guy called Cornelius, and the only anime he's done before Cornelius. is... Yeah, Cornelius, and the only thing he's done Love is it. Appleseed Deus Ex Machina, which was the sequel to the 3D Appleseed movie. And I'm just like, really? That's okay. That's that's <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's cool. Uh, the background music's great. It's just like not as great. It's not gets standard. Is yeah. it, it's like it's okay. And then the opening. Oh my god, the opening. The opening looks like it's from a freaking visual novel. I am not joking. Right, it's like all right. the all the characters show up with their names next to them, and I'm like, yes, like we didn't already know. Ghost. Yeah. In the shell. Yeah. It was like, oh my god. <gasps> Okay, well, uh, I, I've been spoiled on the openings for Sack. I really for have. For clarification, Sack means standalone complex. We've ne I don't yes. think we've said that yet, but we, we have. Well, we we have in previous. Episodes, I was just but... <laughs> clarifying for any listeners who don't know what Sack is. <laughs> yeah, Sack. It's a really good show. Really good. <laughs> and by really good show, I mean Sack is a really good. I show. think that what uh, I'm waiting Arise for isn't is done yet. Arise will have a Blu-ray release and they'll fix it because the broadcast has problems that we can't fix, but they can yeah. fix it in a Blu-ray release. And so I think Arise has the potential to fix all like the constipated faces later. Yeah, my God. Yeah, I hope so. I really yeah. do hope so. And I'm also waiting for the dub. I'm hopeful that the dub will be good. Um, the it's like who's it licensed by again? Is it uh, Funny has it. Funimation uh, has it. So if we're lucky, Funimation will do the same thing that they did with like uh, Slayers and Black Lagoon, and they'll get the old dub cast back. But the reason I'm looking at it, I'm just like everybody. Everybody from Standalone Complex could reprise their roles, except for Mary Elizabeth McGuinn because the major's too young. Oh, you're but everybody right. else is like the same age. This is still like alternate alternate universe, isn't it? So yeah, it is an like, alternate universe. The actual like, Japanese voice actors aren't the same, are they? I believe they actually are. Really? I, could, I, I swear wrong. they were. Fuck. I swear they were different. Like I, no, I could because be they wrong. Were, I, because I was watching the live stream when um, they announced it, and I was like... I could be wrong. Really, but anyway, yeah. it would just be, like, weird to me, because, like, Bato's in the first episode, for example, and I've never heard Bato in English spoken by any other guy except for Richard Epcar. Even in the movie, even in the original dub for the movie, yeah, the it was Richard Epcar. Yeah, the 19's release, yeah, 1900. Wow, yeah. that's weird. That's really so, odd. So, moving on, have... Holden, have you actually been watching anything? Have I been watching or anything? Re read reading slash oh, watching. Cause... Oh, wait, no, wait. Okay, before we quickly move on to that, it actually is almost the same cast. Um, The young version of Matoko Kusanagi from the movie, like when she's a doll, yeah. and also the oh, oh, version yeah. of her from The Laughing Man, the, vo the, the voice actor, the girl that did her in both those times, has come back and she's doing the voice for um, uh, Makoto in Arise. So technically, it's the same voice actor. It's okay. just she's grown up and just kidding. Anyway, move on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. move on. Hold on. Have you been watching slash reading anything? Um, well, I've been watching Attack on Titan and more and more questions <sighs> I have about the series. How, how okay, okay. How okay. Are we allowed to talk about this? No, okay. No. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I I'm not going to really specifics, don't, but I, Yeah, I'll, don't get into I'm not allowed to talk about Can this. I just can I just ask for, for for reference what episode you're at? I'm five at ten about, but at ten. Okay. okay, so you I'm I'm about the same as you then. Okay. <laughs> It's it feels really odd. That's the thing. It's a whole different feeling than the first five episodes. Yeah, I agree. It, it felt so bad. powerful before, 
and now the show feels so like yeah i, I think i think, spast. I think ah! it's just cause you guys no, are ruining it because now i'm gonna no, be no, disappointed no, no. when i get to it no, no, i'm gonna be like that. waiting no, for it that, i'm gonna no, be like oh my god not that. Be, where's the it's, point it's just that it's slowed down you know how lightning fast the first five episodes yes were? and then it's just and slowed down tremendously it's it's like it's not it's not like slow slow but in comparison to how fast the first five episodes were going it feels slow but it's not actually slow it's just slow in comparison to the it's it's like normal anime pacing now let's just say and it's weird Which, because i was so used to this all fire hurry show that all of a sudden shifted gears into this thing that i don't understand yeah well i kind of expected it at the same time i was like how long can they fucking keep this up yeah 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 exactly and it it has slowed down. I'm I'm not complaining, but no. that just means I have a chance to wait for new episodes to come out and not fucking watch it weekly like before. <laughs> it's true. This is true. Um. So so it's basically doing what any other series would do. Well, I'm trying to think of an example actually. There, there, there's a certain um, series like though. they get you really pumped up, and then now it's kind of just slow and it's taking its time and it's like building up the story. But because it pumped you up, you're gonna keep watching it. every shonen ever. Well, what's what anime has a really gripping start? Um, let's, let, let, let's 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 start it off with that. What anime has a really gripping start? Let me think about this for a second. I think Fate Zero. No, no, no. <laughs> Besides Episode One, we're gonna argue about this. That's the complete opposite. Then. Gar Besides will always one. argue about this because he thinks it's not, and I honestly think it's kind of not too, because it's so it's forty five minutes of pure exposition. Yeah, it's not the most exciting start to a story. It's like, hey, do you remember? It is if you're a fan, but that's like the only yeah. reason. No, but then like, you're like, oh shit, more fans stayed on. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're a fan, anything Fate Zero would like make you come anyway. Because it's but like Fate Zero. <laughs> yeah, would make you come again. Again, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, a second like, coming. Um, a second coming. I don't know. I guess the way Holden explained it made it seem. But like I would say like another... something like something like Code Geass maybe. Yes, like Code Geass had a really str- like really. You know? Fast oh, pace. I thought a really good one, Garant. Yeah, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yes. How- oh my god! <laughs> it has. It has this really, really gripping start, and it just kind of just, like, pitters out of control, and it's, like, kind of just boils into, like, we're going into yeah. the lava pit, okay. And then it just becomes really formulaic. And and then, yeah. But the first, like, two episodes feel so gripping. It's like, holy fuck, this guy's getting his hit- head beat in by a fucking Angeru. How is he gonna survive? <laughs> How is he gonna survive? <laughs> and then- it's a Gundam! And then, it went berserk. Yeah, and then stuff happens, and shit. And then we they fight angels every week, and then that that continues for like twenty two weeks, and then they get a pencil and they draw the ending. <laughs> the, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're like, hey, that no, no, and then no, you forgot, you forgot how we we all have to stand on a big blue ball. And tell Shinji congratulations. Yes. Until end. until he masturbates himself. <laughs> and this is of course following the half episode where we're now a high school anime for like no reason. But it's got like the shittiest FPS ever. It's like one FPS. On the subject of Evangelion, uh, I'm just gonna tell this to my fans and everything. I'm waiting for the dub to watch 3.33, guys. Yeah, no, like, I agree. I'm I'm doing so as yep. well. I have attempted to watch 3.33 subbed, and it just wasn't the same. You know, it, it wasn't the same. No. And uh, yeah, and yeah, we are we are gonna wait for it to be dubbed, which is ironic considering how fucking excited we were in that fucking Evangelion cast that we did. But Monday since night. we've waited three years, it doesn't feel that <laughs> we much can, longer. Can, we can continue waiting, and it's we, not like we know that it's not gonna be dubbed, and then we're just like waiting to a a, a specific point in time where we're just like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But Funimation grabbed it, so we're assuming they're gonna dub it sometime soon. Sometime. Ish. Ish. I'm looking soon-ish. at you, Steinsgate. <laughs> Hold in. Yes. Is there anything else you've been reading or watching? Because the way you said it, it was like you had more. Yeah, uh, I finished reading um, volumes 13 to 28 of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which is the Stardust Crusaders arc. And <laughs> it's fucking... Uh, they introduced no, the idea hold, of stands. I just think it's funny hold how it, you're reading it. the manga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, can, can I can ask you something? Yes. It's just like I don't think anyone has bashed on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Except than you. you? Yeah. And yet, and yet <laughs> I, and yet I don't know anyone who's read more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure personally than you. Yeah, <laughs> I I really want to finish volumes 
1 to 63 by the end of the summer and then <laughs> hopefully get up to 104 by school year. Um but with all that said, it's Stardust Crusaders was a lot more fun than the rest because of the stands in my opinion, how you can have these physical it, bodies outside of you that you can control, kind of like personas and stuff. Have you seen the uh, 1990 um JoJo's Yeah, OVA? it's based off that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I that's, know, that's I know that, but is, is, it, is it a lot better than yeah. the 1990? <laughs> kind of. I like how long it felt, because it was 16 volumes, essentially, and or like 15 or something. But it was really f- it was really fun. But the problem, the only problem I see with it was that it set a goal. It's like, we're going to go beat up Dio, and that's exactly what they do. Yeah. And there's no altercations, there's no like plot twists. It's like, they set a plan, and they do it. And... It was almost anticlimactic in nature, but I had a lot of fun with it. I liked Jean, uh, or if you want to call him Jean, um, I liked the <laughs> whole Jean, yeah, Jean, Jean uh, Polanoff or something. And then you have fucking Kakuin and jo- Jotaro and fucking Joseph and Abdul, and it was fun. <laughs> and I I don't think I've ever read a shonen that ended like that's the thing. So. It didn't technically end, but, like, that arc ended, and it was... You could technically call it the end, because when Viz released it, they released yeah. the, all 16 volumes, and then they called that the whole entire series. That was how they released it, was... They called 13 to 28 the series. They're like, this is it. Like, this is all that was yeah, ever released. Yeah. And that's how they released it over the course of five years, since 2005, 2010. And so, it does end... And I, I never really think I've ever experienced a real shonen ending after a long amount of volumes. Uh, I experienced Gantz ending for all that was worth, but yeah, well, like the thing, the thing about the thing I find about reading manga, especially long run, it doesn't even have to be shonen because most ma- a lot of manga are a lot longer running just because it takes longer yes, to produce, just because the nature. Yeah, and then like I'm reading some series, like for example Berserk, and I'm just like. I'm reading this knowing that I'm probably never going to be able to see the end yeah, of this. Yeah, there, there's this weird disconnect with that. Like, I, I had this the other day whenever I was looking at, be it if the series um, won't, won't be released, if it won't be whatever, for whatever reasons, released digitally or in hard copy, but they release up to a certain point, and I read it anyway, and I know I'll never know how this ends. And that's yeah. And th- there's this weird inherent relationship with manga that I I only just recently really realized that it's like you go into it knowing you're not going to get a complete package, yeah. and that's I, so I weird. Wonder, I, like we would we would never go into an anime that doesn't have an ending like that. Like <laughs> yeah, I wonder how Tristan would feel about that. I pro- I'm I'm going to be honest. I probably knowing that I would never be able to see the ending, I probably wouldn't even start. Yeah, and that's 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 uh, me. No, I agree with you. I purp- I purposely. Um, l- search for manga that are completed. So, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for the Pontaku reading cast, uh, I would love to hear them. Uh, shoot us a comment in section below if for a completed manga that you would like to recommend to us, or more specifically, me. Hold but, it. uh, yeah. <laughs> With that said, um, it was fun. I'm on volume 32 now, which is an arc called Diamond is Unbreakable, or the Japanese title diamond is not crash i don't know what they were thinking when they named it that it's literally says in english diamond is not diamond crash is not crash but it's really fun yeah, it's so weird far. i like it and i think that it will get better i hope at least but <laughs> with that said i would like to point out some other stuff about anime recently that i've noticed um i don't know if, if you guys go have or not oh i want to say something first no, okay you all go right let Jean go let Jean go here we go here we go so do it do it do it Psychopaths has announced a, a second season. season. Yeah, pre- yeah. Are you serious? Oh, Are you serious? But, oh, shit. But here's the thing. At first... Okay. You guys are crazy. We're going to run out of reactions soon. Every time Gene says something, we always just like, <laughs> <"Zow well, dog." laughs> You guys sound like, yeah. Style plan. Now we should like back up to the point where I said Ganu Rabuchi's on fire. Yeah. Yes, I How am. How is he writing right now? Seriously. I wanted to say this he's, earlier. He's hot stuff. But I couldn't find like my gap. Like, I was like, 
gonna say, oh, speaking whoa, of whoa, being whoa, whoa. Gucci. Did Jean just say she couldn't find her gap? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> whoa. Well, is, is, well, is that what most women call it nowadays? Please mind the gap. Isn't that what you say in England? <laughs> <laughs> I just have this great image of when you're on like London Underground or something, and it just please mind the gap. Did I get a random boner? Yeah. Okay. Um. Back. Uh. Back on topic. Okay. Psychopath now, like, season two. This, this when... is the magical moment in every Portaki episode where our conversation degenerates to shit. <laughs> it just degenerates into fucking nothing. So, so let's, let's 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 okay. Well, let's at least try to stay on topic. This is... okay? Okay. okay. So, Psychopath so, season two. Okay. Go. When I first heard of this, I was like, "Oh yeah, awesome!" But I'm actually feeling a little weary about it because why? Well, because just don't well, spoil season one, please. The way it ended was just very satisfying. Like, they're I can see how they're going to make a second season out of it, but I feel like the ending that they had was supposed to sort of show off the feeling or the meaning that the show had with it being a dystopia and basically this ultimate sadness that Tokyo had in the present time. Like, the way that it ended just left it off like yeah at a really well, good state of mind and well, i feel like yeah. if they go on with the second season that they can either make it better or they're just going to prolong it and it's just not going to be you, Benji, as was there any climate. loose ends that you wanted answers that weren't that you would like to see answered in the second season don't be specific but was there any stuff that wasn't answered not really not really so personally okay, okay. Well, no okay well, well Okay, I'm I'm having not seen the ending of um, Psychopaths. I could possibly see how they may be able to do a second season just because of the world that is in. Yeah. And I say this having just finished the Gargantia world and imp- where oh, both by Gen Urobuchi. This is weird. Yeah. Both by Gen Urobuchi. <laughs> this is weird. Well, the thing the, the 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 thing is that yeah, that's why I mentioned it. The thing is that. I'm not. I'm gonna guess that you know the ending. He beats the bad guy that comes out. I don't know what happens, but I'm just gonna guess that it's resolved. But the world is still there, and yeah. I'm sure you can possibly expand on that world in the same way that um, with the Gargantia ending, you know, I felt satisfied. But that world yeah. could also be expanded on in a second season, possibly. Yeah, but like that's true. But now knowing that it has a second season and that they are going to expand on it, I don't know how I feel about that because. I- Yes, there were loose yeah. ends, but it's nothing that makes you go crazy and would want to really know about. And I just feel like the dynamics that the show had, even though it wasn't that much, the way they left it off really, like, I just feel like they shouldn't mess with it. I think that the most important thing to remember, though, is in anime nowadays, if you have, if you're going to make a second season, you have to strike the iron while it's hot. If you wait is more this... than two or three years, the odds of you having a second season drop to almost zero. Well, is this Genrobuchi's first second season? I might also. I don't even. I don't even know. To be honest, if it's I think him. it is. I think it is his uh, first second season because he's always just done yeah. one offs, hasn't he? Wow. I think it might yeah, be. So... Yeah. Wow, oh, yeah, that, that's so weird. Very... So wait, 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 wait. No, then, then you have to question: Was this planned, or is he being told to do this? That's the because question. If he's being told to do it. That he might. The... It might not be anywhere near as yeah, good. Yeah, that's the million dollar yeah. question right now. Hmm. Because that, that, that could put him very much so out of his comfort zone. Or if he is doing maybe it, maybe that's a maybe good thing. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Like I'm Actually, saying, putting it testing maybe, maybe him will be important. Yeah. It so going be. back to what you were saying, Holden, what did you want to bring up before? Um, what I wanted to bring up was the the new season, uh, just in general, uh, not not <clears throat> singling out anything of the the new Bakemono Gatari sequel thing or whatever. Um, uh, yeah. But just in general, I would like to point out as a series, the season as a whole. Um, I don't like <laughs> care about anything <laughs> i don't know did you not hear my the reaction truth just comes out d- did you not hear my reaction just a moment ago I was just like, yeah, it's it's there i've never there. I've, but I've, the weird thing is that i've never felt this way like i've never felt like this with with anime you know there's always something of every season 
And they're, they're like probably, high school at DXD. There's probably like, yeah, it's going to be fucking amazing. But <laughs> there's usually like it's one. Gonna be, it's going to be Holden jerking off in one corner to high school at DXD and fucking Gene jerking off in the other corner to fucking freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Here we come to the masturbating circle again. That room is going to be so fucked up. It's going to smell yeah. so bad. Nah, it's actually going to smell great because I like jizz shampoo. But so, what, what, what were we saying again? I was like, I don't know. This this season, just like, what the fuck? It's like, I've I don't care about it, and well, okay, it's weird uh, about. I I feel bad for. It. That's the thing. I feel well, like I'm a bad fan uh... for not liking anything on it. Well, the, th- the thing about the Monogatari series is that it's kind of just lost. It's it's, it's lost everything. It's I could not believe and it. The only the only thing I'm looking forward to really is the movie. Yeah, Keys and Monogatari. That's all I'm Key, looking uh, forward yeah, to. Yeah, Keys and Monogatari. And fucking Senja Gahara is not even in it, but I really yeah, want. That's, it. that's that's all I'm looking forward to. Yeah, but because because I just want to see what happens before all the before all this shit happened because it looked pretty fucking. Sick. It looks awesome. But everything after it was just I'm just I'm just meh. I'm just kind of mad. It's losing it's so like, much of its shine. Yeah. Like, uh, the, like I'm, I'm pretty sure we talked about this, like, way long ago. Like, one of our earliest episodes about how yeah. the, the series was losing its shine already with uh, the addition of Nekamonogatari Black. And yeah. this is like... Do you think this is an example of an anime that's coming out because they know it'll sell? Rather than because they want yes, to do it? Yes. I, I, that, yeah, definitely. Of, of course, of course. Of course, definitely. definitely. But I, I would like to point out, Akiyuki Shimbo has not made anything that has impressed me in, like, years now. When was the last time he impressed you? Like, just so we know. Madoka Magica, like, 2000, like, whatever. Like, 11? Was it 11? <laughs> so, the anime that you were trying to convince us you haven't seen. <laughs> 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 was it 11? I think it was 11. It was it the was, same year as Steins Gate, I think? Yes. Or one was a year before? It, yeah, it, it, was it, it was 2011. It was about it was, the same time. It was 11, because I remember now, because 2011 is the year that anime sort of picked up again for me. Uh, yeah, after started. 2007. <laughs> yeah, after 2007. You had four years of downtime. We're, it was good. It was good. It was good I, downtime. I, I managed to catch up to some of the older shit that I probably would have never Speaking watched. Speaking of if... older shit and Gene watching older shit, I would like to point out that I've recently tried to watch older shit too. And maybe it's because I've been reading too much manga or something. But the pacing of anime is so weird when, sometimes with old anime. It's like, there's a whole different mindset, I feel like, sometimes. Because I was watching mm-hmm. Interstellar... Uh, no, not Interstellar. I was watching oh, Galaxy gosh. Express 9. I was about to say. Galaxy yeah, Express 999. Um, wow. And it's from, like, the 70s. And it's mm-hmm. so slow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think of what it is, because I, like, I have this theory, because I've been watching Gundam Wing. And I have this theory, like, with the Gundam series, how Gundam was set up is, like, one series was 52 episodes, and then when the finale of one aired, immediately the following week was episode one of the next series. So I, I, I feel like the mindset kind of was is that the shows were 52 episodes because they had to be, not because they, wanted they were... To. They wanted to. Yeah, not well, because okay. they wanted to. Because I've been watching Gundam Wing, and I feel like that, that could have ended, like, halfway <laughs> through whatever the hell it's been doing right now. Do you feel like the mindset to watch anime has changed a bit because i say yes. this now in this day and age where we follow seasonal shows right yes and yeah. it, the, a show has like most people just watch one but like some mm-hmm. people like us watch at least give it three episodes so they have to put everything in that first three episodes or whatever just, yeah and then it just kind of just and then it just kind of slows down after that yeah because let's try to... or before that in some cases we, we we previously listed off shows that had really strong openings let's list shows that didn't have really strong openings that were Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop is what I was going to say. Fucking the Red Eye Coyote, the first episode. It happened, but then immediately following it, you have the dog one. And it's like, okay, this is mm. uh, yeah. chasing the dog. And then episode episode three was Faye's introduction at the casino, yep. which wasn't a bad episode, but it wasn't like great. But Battle of the Fallen Angels is when it starts, guys. Episode five. Yeah, episode fallen, one. Of fallen Angels. <laughs> When we all we all know it. When angels That's fall from should... heaven, they become demons. Because everybody wants to skip over the monkey episode. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yes, every... and with good reason. It's not great. It's weird. <laughs> the monkey episode is weird. Well, okay. For a more recent example, Madoka Magica. Yes. Would you say that as a slow start? Yes, I would. Well, when when you look at the, the series as a whole, yes. 
But if you were to just watch those first three episodes, you wouldn't feel like it was slow at all. You just thought it was a completely different kind of show. This is true. Is what I would say. No, that's that, uh, yeah, I can understand. That's that. that's valid. I wanted to say Gankutsuo, but Gankutsuo. No, was, no, no, I it, agree it with had, that. That's slow. It, it, that's it, a slow it, start. I agree. With it that, was. Yeah. I didn't necessarily feel slow when I when I watched it. It just felt like I was more interested in looking at stuff than actually caring yeah. about what the fuck Albert was doing at like a. Well, Gangutsuo well, was one of if... those shows where like I started watching it and I've actually tried before I actually like finished the show. I tried to watch it like three different times, but just got tired of it and stopped at a point. But then when I was going to review it, I actually forced myself over that hump and then. Like the entire <laughs> second half of the series, I just like marathoned it because I was yes. like, "Oh my god, becomes, I need to finish this." There's a point this. where yeah. it becomes the yeah. marathon show. Yeah. yeah. Well, but when you, you think... but getting to that point took a while. That's because there's so much plot elements <laughs> to set up, and then it all just yeah, and it just crashes. wasn't yeah, and it just yeah. wasn't that great. It wasn't a great start, but once it got going, it really. What What do you guys think about something like Karuna Kyokai then? Karuna Kyokai uh, depends. Are we Are we talking about chronological, chronological. or release order? <laughs> Well, chronological order it's fine i think it's okay well, chronological, but 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 like we did watch it in release order so yeah that's, that's yeah it. chronological yeah. order it's perfectly fine but in release order it's just a matter of trying to figure out i i think i could see it yeah being slow there's like, no pace well if you it. it's no if you look at release order so you look at like this is your logic and understanding and it, it changes from yeah. movie to movie that's the thing entirety. like the movie, the yeah. one that controls it the most. Well, it was directed. It was directed by a different. I can't think of it movie to movie. I have to think yeah. of it as all. Yeah, it had together. a different director for every part. Yeah, like Aoki was the director of the first one. Like he also directed, you know, Fate Zero. But when you have stuff like Paradox Spiral, where it has such weird pacings at any given time, because it will feel so fucking slow, as if you're watching the movie in slow motion. And then there'll be points where it's like you feel like it's going too fast and you don't understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah, like what it the was so going on? fucking cool. Yeah. I feel like it's no <laughs> Paradox Spiral is slow throughout the whole movie except that one what? scene. What I where it's love like, uh, Paradox Spiral. What the fuck? That. Paradox and Spiral the is ending. amazing. So good. Paradox Spiral is amazing. Too bad I can't remember it because it, it was so much shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember yeah. this building and this big fight and I remember there was like. St- it was about spiral energy, man. I remember spirals. Spirals. A lot, <laughs> and a lot of spirals. 42 spirals, Spiral. man. And I think with that, guys, we should probably wrap it up. I don't <laughs> actually know how long we've been recording for. No, we've but, no uh, idea. We've been recording for a while, but I don't know how much of that is actual podcast and much yes. of that is just us talking. Oh, oh, oh. And before, and, and before we go, Follow us. tune in after we say goodbye to hear Holden having a conversation on the phone mid recording which we're probably going to cut out but it's maybe really who funny. knows we'll figure that out <laughs> we'll figure it out so you know, just just keep on listening it's really fucking funny and also we have a twitter go follow us <laughs> the... at podtaku go do uh, it follow us on twitter at so at we can podtaku. just tell you what shits when it's uploaded that's about it yes and also leave down in the comments below what completed manga you think are yes. worth reading because i would yeah. actually like that yeah that's too. for gene and holden freaking like and subscribe and all that crap yo man. rate oh wait fuck <laughs> yeah. we can't rate yo give us a thumb whatever i don't know <laughs> give, give, thumb. give us give us a thumbs up it really helps us out and if you don't want to that that's cool just give yeah. us a thumbs up okay, anyway what the fuck are we doing we're, we're trying to end this end this conversation we're making a podcast gene what are you doing no, this is a low blow anyway we're, we're, so we're being sellouts this is a low and if we're on itunes i don't know what to do anyway this is Pataku. if you guys want to give us a large sum of money we okay, will anyway, take it here we go here we go here we go ending ending uh, ending uh, ending, uh, ending. Uh, from uh, holden uh, hiatus uh, 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 hey guys uh, how's i money give it okay from <laughs> the anime zone <laughs> um bye <laughs> <laughs> from anime appraisal thank you for not fucking that up and until next time bye. and i'm mark out from glass reflection stay frosty everyone and enjoy this phone call go independence <clears throat> move on hold on have you been watching slash reading anything yes i have one second i'm gonna get a call <laughs> what do you mean you hello what the- are we being serious now (laughs) well i (laughs) want guys 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 we got this we got this we got this guys it's just quick it's quite 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 gene gene boy you're gonna say oh wait let's listen you got a pillow that has a hedgehog on it (laughs) wait yeah i've got a pillow that's got a hedgehog on it wait 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 wait. rewind rewind describe the pillow it has a hedgehog holden 
Holden, I was saying to you that I have a pillow with a hedgehog. And two on owls it. on it? Yes, yes. <laughs> and two owls. And a bird that looks like a totem bird? What kind of what is yes. this? It, it's a Looney Tunes pillow. What kind of phone call is this? I don't know. What Just calls go with about it. pillows. Okay. Maybe they're talking about Fooly Cooly. Maybe pillow <laughs> is code for something, guys. You got a shower curtain with a bison taking a shower on it? What the fuck? I feel like he's just shitting with us right now, but I'm not sure. How much, <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. How, much how much would that cost? Seven dollars. Oh my god, it's real. This phone call is real. Oh my god. Chris, no, for a bison taking a shower, that's a, it's a steal. You know, I've been looking We're totally not cutting this. taking showers. We can't. This is too good. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hard market, you know. Bison taking showers. No, just, just, Tristan, you, you should, uh, you should put this at the ending because, uh, after, well, after the, we say goodbye. Yeah. No, this should be right in the middle of it. This should totally be right <laughs> in the middle of it. This is, she's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> just the outline of bison. Okay. It, it's easier that way because then I don't have to figure out where we started this problem. Oh, and the, then the bison's we... white, but he's drawn black. <laughs> I don't have to Wait, figure out how we're gonna segue yeah, back in. Buy me again. Wait strong. one second. He's he's what? He's white, but his outline is black. So Paula Dean would like him. All right, guys. I think we should put podcast okay. on hold because this this is going on for quite a while. <sighs> okay, just don't stop recording. Don't, don't stop, stop recording. recording. Da, 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 da.